spent my life doing, so it's great to still be attached to the sport of gymnastics. It's a very close family that we have, and uh, to be out here promoting the American Cup, something that, you know, I had a thrill to win in 93, but there's been so many big names uh, that have won this competition and then went on to do such great things at the Olympics. It's a fun competition, and I'm just happy to be a part of promoting it. Is it ever bittersweet for you that you've kind of retired and now you're kind of just helping out? Um, no, I don't think so. It's just a different phase. You know, I went through the, the gymnastics and training phase and, and heavy competition, and now I get to do commentary and watch the young, com young ones come up and work with them in the gyms, and um, I love that part of it, too. You know, speaking of the young ones coming up, Nasty Lucan is one of the ones who will be at the American Cup, and she made a big splash in Beijing, but she's kind of nipping at your heels for some of those world <laughs> champion titles. Any uh, little jealousy, a little friendly competition? Um, you know, I don't think so, uh, well, and I'm not sure if she's competing at American Cup. Um, she's just back in the gym after the tour, but um, no, it's great. What's fun, and I just spent three months with Nastia on the road, and she is absolutely wonderful, and um, you know, she's a classical gymnast uh, like I was, and so I love watching her, and it's fun to see kids coming up breaking records, and that's what it's all about. That that makes the U.S. program so strong, and, uh, and I'm going to be watching close at Worlds because I have no doubt she's going to blast through my records. Yeah, so, well, who knows, but it's out there. Real quick, i got to take you back to 96. I heard a myth that you guys shacked up in a frat house in Atlanta. Is that true? <laughs> we were. We stayed at, um, a, at a frat, on a frat house, um, at a frat house on uh, Emory University campus. I guess the guys uh, got a little rowdy and got kicked out, and we took over their house um, so that we didn't stay in the village. Uh, a little easier access to the games, and uh, you don't have to go through as much security, so it saved us some training time, but it was a blast. We uh, had a big slumber party every night. That's definitely unique. Are you still close-knit with some of those ladies? I am. You know, that was such a special team, and uh, for us, we'll always be the MAG-7, but it's been fun watching each other grow up and, and see us become completely different people than just that, that competitor. You chose a different route recently. You graduated from Boston College from law school, correct? I did. Um, well, education has always been really important to me, so I graduated with my marketing and entrepreneurship degree and then went on to law school at Boston College, but um, you know, gymnastics will always be close to my heart, so I'll always have one foot in this side of things. Absolutely. I know we got a long line of uh, eager little girls waiting for you. What advice do you have for these girls who look up to you so much? You know, number one, have fun. You've got to have fun with the sport, um, but also make sure you're setting goals and never set limits on yourself. Don't let other people set limits on you. Thank you so much, Shannon. No problem.